happy Friday. Uh, uh, first off, uh, we would like to extend a big thank you to the Idaho Commission on Hispanic Affairs, of course, for organizing all of this and also uh, for having us today. And it's an honor to receive this humanitarian award, um, of course, and get to share space with you all who are also doing amazing things. Um, my name is Jennifer, and I am here with two of my co-workers, Kristen and Jane, and um, we're here representing the Hunger Coalition. And so a little bit more about us. So we're a nonprofit organization located in Blaine County, um, Bellevue to be more specific. And the Hunger Coalition has been primarily known for its food pantry. Um, however, a significant part of our work is to address the root causes of food insecurity, which is a key component of our mission. Over the course of 20 years, and as our community has grown, so has the organization. Um, a big part of it has been involvement, whether that's with our participants, um, programming, also our, uh, our volunteers. And um, throughout that time, we've come to understand that it's not just about giving food. It's definitely more about advocating for systemic change and empowering our community to continue building leaders. That means that when community members advocate for affordable housing, equitable education, and affordable child care, just to name a few of the root causes that affect food security, families don't have to miss meals just to get by. Um, a little bit more about Blaine County. As of 2020, the census said that about 20%, a little over, um, was Hispanic. Um, and since last year, that has actually changed. We've seen a rapid growth, and it's continuing to grow. And the local community has been accepting and appreciative of the various Hispanic cultures. However, as Idaho's Hispanic population continues to grow, it's important to remember that our communities are still underrepresented. It can be intimidating to take the first role of being in a leadership position. And a big part of that, um, we have to go back and change that narrative. So we don't get to see any more first and it becomes a norm. So then, therefore, future generations don't have to continue to be the first. Furthermore, um, the Idaho Commission on Hispanic Affairs is doing a great job of showing off the data and success of Latinos. However, we still need to shift the narrative and make sure we are continuing to have a voice and pave the way for other Latinos in the community. 